Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be using Photoshop Element 7 for some photo retouching techniques. Some of those glamour shot looking techniques that you see in some of the malls around the world. And I'm going to be doing that in Photoshop Element 7 which of course can also be done in Photoshop CS4 and CS3. Now the menu locations may change but the tools are the same. Now you can see that I have a finished photo here. It looks really nice and when I started with this photo there were a few dark freckles underneath here and then the tonality of the face was not quite even throughout the whole thing just due to the lighting. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click down on my original background layer and show you the original photo. That it was dark, a few spots in here the tone was not quite as fluid. It was a little bit darker and a little bit lighter. It wasn't quite as fluid here. I will hold the Alt key and click on my visibility layer again to get them all back and you can kind of see I'll do it a little bit faster so that you can see it's a very subtle change. There is the darker one and of course that's kind of lightened up some and a lot of the blemishes are now gone. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this effect. Now where I got this from is I was asked whether or not I understood or knew what Haji Soft action was. Now in Photoshop we have actions and actions are little macros that can be recorded and this action had many many different pieces to it and in, in order to do it without the action it would take you a long time and this tutorial would be probably over 30 minutes. So with the help of some other tutorials I went through and tried to deconstruct some of what they were doing so that we could recreate this in Photoshop Element 7. Now let's go on over to the website where they sell this action and you can see at nobsphotosuccess.com that the first picture that I have right here is kind of a harsh picture some harsh lighting and a lot of sharp lines to it and when I hover over it you can see that they've faded and they've blended this area real nice. Now this is the same type of thing that we're going to do. You can see that the eyes are nice and sharp but everything else is kind of blended and softened some right over here along the body and face. I'll go ahead and go get off of the picture again. You can see it's a little bit harsh and then I go on to the picture again. You can see. So what we're going to be doing is recreating that effect without you having to get the full version of Photoshop or get the action that goes along with the no BS photo success over there. Now let's go ahead and revert my picture by going to edit and revert and that's going to take me to the original photo. Now in order to make this work I must have two more layers that are duplicates of this. I will go ahead and right click and duplicate for one layer but then we're going to use control J or command J to make the other one. I'm just trying to give you a couple different ways of creating duplicate background layers. Now we have the three that are sitting here. We have to take the visibility of the top layer off and we need to convert the center layer into a black and white. Now we're going to do that under the enhance convert to black and white. There is a portrait style right there but we need to tweak this a little bit because I'm trying to get the tonality of the face the same. If I take the red down you'll notice that the nose hot spot starts going away. You can see I just dialed that down a little bit and it's starting to go away. Now I'm pretty happy with that so I'm just gonna do that. Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to put just a slight bit of Gaussian blur on that. We just love Gaussian blurs, don't we? So we're going to go over to Filter Blur and we're going to click on Gaussian Blur. Now I wouldn't go crazy with the Gaussian Blur here. I wouldn't take it over 0.7 pixels because we just kind of want to blend some of this stuff here and that's what we're doing with the Gaussian Blur. So there's our black and white photo. Now what we need to do is we need to take this photo and we need to superimpose the colors from this on top of this. So we're going to use another blurring filter. This blurring filter is a wonderful blurring filter. And you go to blur under the filter menu. And this one is surface blur. 
Now I've kind of tweaked it around and I've got 9 and 20. 9 for radius, 20 for threshold. And you can see that it's almost like this nice soft painting we have here. The colors are just blending so nicely on here and it's just great how this looks. I'm happy with it right off the bat and I'm just going to select OK. Now we need to now superimpose these colors on top of this black and white background. So I'm going to do that using the color. Now right off the bat you can also see that some of these dark areas have not gone away and that's because we have not done another duplication of a layer. But you have noticed that the eyes are a bit blurry and that's because of what we did to this black and white layer. Now we need to make the eyes just a little bit sharper and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over to where our eraser tool is and we're going to pick a brush. This mode needs to be on brush and not pencil because it needs to have a soft edge. You're going to pick one of these soft edge brushes and then whatever picture that you're using you're going to have to adjust the size of the brush. Now you can use the right and left bracket keys to be able to make that bigger or you can use the sliders over here. Now I'm going to leave mine at about 17. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around the eyelid and I'm just going to erase. Now I need to be on this center one right here and I'm going to just erase right here and what that's going to do is you're going to notice that the crispness of the eye comes back in. The crispness of the eye. It's getting real crisp. It's not getting Christmas. It's getting very crisp again and you can see that that's nice and sharp. But the rest of the face is just a little bit blurry right there so we've got these nice crisp eyes and then we've got this just a little bit blurry and we need to take this last layer that's sitting right here and we need to duplicate that one more time and then play around and change the blending mode to screen now you have this blown out picture and we know it's just a slight bit blown out but look at this nice tone that's in here. Of course it's all blown out white but it's very nice tone in here. I'm going to take the opacity down and I'm going to dial that out and maybe 51 is nice. 47 to 51 is nice and you can see that she's kind of got a nice smooth silky skin right here with her tonalities right there by using the screen and using the blue right here when we went to the blue channel and we dialed out some of the red we've gotten this nice black and white image here we've superimposed this color onto that using the surface blur and then we've used the screen mode right here to make it just a little bit brighter now did that actually do anything let's go ahead and check I'm gonna hold the alt key down I'm gonna click on the bottom layer there is our original photo and it does have some of these darker areas and it's not quite as smooth when it comes to the color I'm gonna hold the alt key down again and click it one more time very subtle change there just like on the website that we saw there's the original and there is the change and it doesn't really change the picture a whole lot now of course if you don't like it that it's a little bit maybe too blurry what we could have done when we were going over to this effect right here, this Gaussian blur effect right here, we could have went and only done 0.5 instead of 0.7. So hopefully you've learned a little bit in this exercise. You've also checked out some ways to make Photoshop retouching uh, one of the tools that you can use on your photos. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe or leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing or let me know how badly I'm doing. I don't really mind either way. Have some fun and I will catch you around.